What's up guys, Sal here. So for a phone that's still 5 months away from this point, we know quite a lot about the Galaxy S23 Ultra. We know that the phone will use Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 as the only chip worldwide ditching the Exynos chip because it couldn't compete with Qualcomm's latest. We know that the phone will use a UFS 4 storage, which is twice as fast as UFS 3.1 used in the current flagships while being 45% more efficient. And Samsung confirmed today that this new storage chip will be hitting the conveyor belts as soon as this month in time for the S23 handsets. Now we also know that the S23 Ultra will get a 200 megapixel camera sensor and today we have some more information about the camera. Ice Universe mentions that this new sensor has a pixel size of 0.6 microns. To put it in simple terms, you generally want your pixels to be large, as a larger pixel can capture more light than a smaller pixels. Now, if we compare this pixel size with the latest from Apple, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, then you'd say this is way too small. But that's not the whole picture because Samsung is using pixel binning technology where they're combining multiple pixels into one large pixel to work together as one. Samsung will likely combine 16 pixels into one large pixel, resulting in an image equivalent to a 12.5 megapixels with a 2.4 micron pixel size. Now the S22 Ultra also has a 2.4 micron pixel size with pixel binning. So what's the benefit you would ask? Well, this 200 megapixel sensor has two additional white pixels per pattern, which means it can gather around 35% more light, resulting in even better low light images. Plus, it also has a super quad face detection technology, which offers an even faster and more accurate autofocusing. And finally, you can record 8K videos at 30fps and 4K at 120fps with no loss in the field of view. Of course, software optimization will also play a big role in determining the final quality of images and videos. Moving on, we also have information about the battery capacity of the S23 Ultra from Weibo and it's staying the same, which is 5000 mAh. But the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is a much more efficient chipset. In fact, it will be more than 35% efficient than 8 Gen 1, which means even though the capacity remains the same, the battery life on the S23 Ultra will be better than the S22 Ultra. Also, the S23 Ultra will be launched with One UI 5 with Android 13 and Samsung has finally made the beta official for the S22 handsets. I've made a video already showcasing all the changes we're getting with One UI 5. The link will be in the description, but here's a cool animation you'll get with One UI 5 while capturing the screenshot. Samsung has improved animation with new software, and you can clearly see that here. You can also drag from the top right to open an app in a pop-up view, and as you can see, it's much more convenient. The S Pen menu also looks way better now. It's a beta version that you can download through the Samsung Members app if you have the S22 handsets before Samsung officially releases the software in October. Of course, for all the latest updates on the S23 Ultra, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.